Finding complete Pokemon ROM hacks or fan games that aren't just enhancements of already existing Pokemon games can be quite challenging. That's because making your very own Pokemon game is a lot of work. Even if you don't add your own Fakemon, there's still so much that goes into making one of these. The ROM hack we're checking out today has been out for a while now, but I've never played it, and I know literally nothing about it except Regigigas is the cover legendary, and my friend Gabe really enjoys it. Let's check out Pokemon Gaia. Also, if you have any recommendations for complete ROM hacks or fan games, let me know. You know the ROM hack's gonna be good when it has a custom title screen, right? Welcome to Pokemon Gaia. Um, like I said earlier, I I've got no idea what this is about. I'm excited to check it out though. Um, I I I've been like scourging the internet looking for complete Pokemon ROM hacks. And I don't know, I think this is the most promising one yet. And coming off the back of Pokemon's universe, I, I definitely need a promising, a promising game. I'm my, my, my brain isn't ready to go back to playing. Uh, dude, why is the tech speed slow? Oh my God. Okay, right. The name's Redwood. I'm a Pokemon professor. Cool, so this geezer is Redwood. I'm also an archeologist, unveiling the past of my, is my passion. Okay, so his whole gimmick is fossils. This creature, Lacritora. It's Kabuto, a Pokemon. Pokemon are our friends, pets, and work partners. With today's technology, we can revive Kabuto from mere fossils. Indeed, the tenacity of life is something to behold. That's Pog. Uh, whoa, oh my god, did you see that? Lotad, rewind, rewind that, you see? Yo, his his outline disappeared, bro. He's he's not real, but enough about me. All right, tell me, are you a boy or a girl? Well, you guys know me. Most Let's Players that play Pokemon games are boys, and most of which will pick boys. So I'm gonna pick the girl just to stand out from the crowd, you know? Also, the girl designs are usually always better. Like, they just, ha they just always have better drip. Like, the difference between Lucas and Dawn is immense. Like, Lucas is, may as well be a fucking NPC. Like, in terms of Diamond and Pearl. Lucas may as well just be an NPC. Sure, it'll be one for the history books, maybe you can. All right, I'm now going small, baby mode. Uh, cool. Why was the text speed automatically on slow? That's a bit weird. I guess they just really wanted you to read the intro. Battle style on set. And I think we're good to go. Uh, unless there's, yeah, see, I like yellow frame, but it's, it's got like weird stripes on it. I just want like a simple frame like this. I love recording videos. I lo recording videos is my passion. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking ambulances, man. Saving people and shit. This, this one's really pretty actually. Holy crap. All right, you know what? I'm feeling different. I'm gonna choose the, the green one today. All right, awesome. Got a custom sprite and everything. Cool. Gonna withdraw our potion from the PC. You know, the vibes. Now this is a fire red leaf weed rom hack, but it isn't based in Kano. So you guys you guys can re re uh, celebrate. I've been playing a lot of Kano rom hacks. I mean, most of the rom hacks that we like that exist are fire red leaf weed rom hacks. And, and most of them are just enhancements. So you can't really blame me, but I'm doing my best to try and not just play back to back Kano games. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, so hi, Kali. Um, we got this letter in the mail. It's addressed to you. Here, read it. Okay, good day. You recently withdrew a book from the Cilantro, Cilanto, okay, Cilanto Library. Um, please bring it with you uh, to the Reclica Ruins, Re Reliquia, Reliquia Ruins, Reliquia Ruins, Totem Pulse. Uh, I, wait for, I will wait for you there. Thank you for cooperating. Uh, so they want you to meet the uh, Reliquia Ruins. Uh, and they mentioned the book you got from the library. Maybe you should get it from upstairs and bring it with you. This game is fake. I don't fucking read. This is not real. It's a dusty book. Take it with you. The Dusty Tome. I always love getting temporary items and looking at the little the little sprite that they made for it. All right, well, bye-bye. Oh, Cali. Oh, I just remember. Try these out. They're running shoes. I bought them for you. You know how to use them, right? Just hold the B button. Yo, that fucking music for obtaining the running shoes. Why was it so insane? Okay, sure. What the hell was I wearing before? Crocs? All right, we're in Cilantro, Cilantro Town. I think it would have been better called Cilantro. Anyways, cool. Cilantro Town. My life's dream is to become an archaeologist like Professor Redwood. Yes, sir. Uh, I think uh, most of my knowledge comes from the Cilantro ri Library. The books are um, so informative. Got a neat little town going on here. The cable car goes all the way up to Windmill City. And I, oh my, I've never seen a flower like this. I wonder why it's so white. <laughs> why are you white? Cilantro Grove. Catch a ride on the Mount uh, Ignis cable car to Windmill City. That's a fucking mouthful. Elders of Or Orbtus built the totem poles. Said the civilization was wiped out by an earthquake. History so fascinating, no? Yeah, I don't think I'm really a big fan of history. I hate my big brother. I got scratched in my leg uh, once in the Cilanto path. Now he stops me from leaving that town without Pokemon. He's insane. Eh, yeah, what dickhead? Looking out for your health, trying to make sure you don't die. So mean. Condemoniums. What's a condemonium? Is that like the scientific name for a condom? You can use field moves like surf and cut without needing badges. This is the best place to relax after a long day of hiking. I'm obsessed with the premier balls. Uh, if you ever got your Pokemon as in a premier ball, just come to me. I'll fix it for you. Oh my god, they added the best character to this game. The girl that puts your Pokemon in Premier Balls. That's actually really cool. 
That is actually really cool. I love Premier Balls. I'm so glad someone else likes them as much as me. You have no Pokemon, well, never mind. Cool. I always wanted to see a Shuppet. I'd pay to see one. Oh, well, cool. Guess I could catch a Shuppet and show it to him. Yeah, so um, I didn't, like I said, I don't really know much about this ROM hack, but I think it's, I think I read that it has all the Pokemon in the code, but only a fraction of them are actually available. So I don't, I, that sounds like it would be very small. Or it's a Pokemon up to 721, so like Pokemon up to Gen 6. Yeah, it must be Pokemon up to Gen 6, wow. So yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon in this game, but I don't think there's any fake mon, which is different. And I know, I don't know, I, I've always got this paranoia that you guys only watch my videos for the fake mon, but you know, you, you've proven me wrong with Pokemon Unbound, so hopefully, hopefully this game, hopefully this game uh, can carry itself. Salanto Library, knowledge is learned, wisdom is earned. Bars! He appears to be immersed in a book, but I don't disturb him. Why would you stand in front of a door? I heard a Celestic Town from the Sinnoh region. Um, I heard that it was rich history, much like Salanto Town. Zatu reminded me of totem poles in the Reckley. Oh, okay. Brushed up on my history knowledge and you know that Salanto Town used to be full of rocky structures. It's said that they destroyed by a disastrous earthquake. Neat, huh? Finished reading a book about Relicanth. They said to have patterns on their sides which resemble maps. Whoa. Is that actually true? That's fucking cool if so. I'm um, reading about the history of mega evolution. There's a lot to be about it. Uh, meteorites. Reading a thrilling novel about a man and his Gardevoir. Mmm. I'm honest, I prefer battling with my Pokemon to studying. Some of these books are indecipherable. They are written in one language. Or they're written in language older than me. Yeah, man, people have been around for a long time. All Pokemon past here are incredibly dangerous. You shouldn't go out alone. Well, the... <laughs> uh, well, where, what, what do you want from me, dude? I, I don't know what... Where do I go? What's going on in here? Is this me out? That is a Meowth. Oh dear, my darling Meowth is hungry. I wish I had an orange berry to give her. So there seems to be like a lot of little quests I can do, which is really nice. I really like it when games give us the option. All right, can I go up here? Cilantro Grove. Okay. Can that you pass at the moment. The cable car isn't working. Cool. So where can I go? Can I go south? The real... Oh yeah, okay. Here we here here's where we're meant to go. My grandfather uh, told me something lives beneath the totem poles. That can't be true though, surely. Something definitely lives beneath the totem poles. Hey, can you see the spiritual energy here? It's overwhelming. Uh, okay. There's these totem poles here. They look pretty fucking cool what's going on you took your time sorry i was just getting used to the world uh these stone poles are fascinating are they not for years they've stood here and nobody truly knows what for uh they were said to be constructed by the elders of or orbius <laughs> enough about that though i called you here because of that book in your possession it doesn't belong to the library it's actually a family heirloom of mine i believe the librarian stole it from me and as you can understand it means a lot to me and i need it back would you be so kind i need some proof i'm gonna say no what in that case, I'll challenge you to a Pokemon battle. Oh, you have no Pokemon? I suppose you're going to have to hand it over, won't you? That's right. Yeah, I think I was right to say no. Thank you very much. Now I have business to attend to, but you have helped me greatly. I'll be sure to scold that librarian when we next see him. Farewell, child. Dude, an old woman antagonist? That would be fucking poggers. There is an inscription on the rock. It's written uh, in an indecipherable language, though. Mm, it's going to be unknown language, isn't it? The easiest language to read besides English. I'm only saying that because it because I can read it. Not a bite. I wonder why sea life is so quiet around here. <laughs> They're all dead. Found a potion, Pog. Finding a potion before you have a Pokemon is like getting a game for your new console before you have the console. Mom, Callie. Did you meet up with that lady? She took the book, that's strange. Anyway, I realized you uh, could have been attacked by a Pokemon just now. That sort of is irresponsible of me, wasn't it? Well, I have some good news. Pokemon professor is willing to give out a Pokemon in the library. You should go check it out. It's about time you got your own Pokemon. Oh, that's convenient, man. Very convenient. Okay, let's go check out the library. I actually don't know what the stars are either, so I'm like, I'm gonna have to make a decision on the spot. Uh, oh, 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 it's through here. Pog, okay. Oh, whoa, okay, holy crap. At uh, last, a third person. Um, I thought more people would be interested in free Pokemon. Obviously not. My name is Professor Redwood. As you may know, I'm the Pokemon professor of the Orbtus region. Uh, I've come here uh, to Salanto Town today to seek out a talent. You see, I'm getting quite old. Uh, I can't keep up with the field work, my research necessity, uh, necessities. Um, for that reason, I need helpers. Bruh, who the hell was that? That guy's hat looked cool. I really liked him. Well then. I guess that um, prospect doesn't appeal to everyone. That leaves you two with the choice of these three rare Pokemon. Please go ahead and choose. Okay, you can choose first. Yeah, okay, because I'm the main character. Shimchar. It's it's Sinnoh. Yeah, it's Sinnoh. It's Sinnoh boysies. And Smack Cam. Ha. See, the, the predicament is I love all of the Sinnoh starters. I think, in my personal opinion, Gen 2, Gen 4, and Gen 7 have the strongest group of starters. Like, all of them are good. Like, every single starter is good in Gen 2, Gen 4, and Gen 7. Like, those are just the best starters. And before the comment section says, Callum, where's Gen 3? Th they're okay, right? They're okay. But G Gen 4, Gen 2, and Gen 7 are the strongest. They're, they're all amazing. So I don't know who to pick. 
<sighs> um, see, there's so many grass type Pokemon that I love and would probably rather use over Torterra. And then there's the water types, the most common type in the game. Uh, so that kind of just leaves Chimchar. Do, do I want to use Infernape? Not particularly. I'm not against it. <sighs> Maybe I'll just ditch my star. I don't know. All right. I chose Shimchar. The nature appears to be docile. Uh, sure. This is the nickname that Hayden, my, my YouTube member, told me to give it. And you bring, you, you take snap, smack cam. Okay, you know what? All, all is right in the world. Congratulations. I'm sure you and your Pokemon will bond in no time. Anyways, I have a few errands to run. Meet me in my house in Archentown. I have a final gift for the two of you. I'll give it to you there. Uh, so Callie, I guess we're going uh, to get to know each other. Hey, I should introduce myself. My name is... Bruh. Okay. He's like, I literally don't know my name. What is it? I'm gonna call him JD. Yes. It's nice to meet you. I'll see you in Archon Town, okay? You know, I think it's accurate because JD would choose Piplop over, I think, the other two. I think Piplop's his favorite from the bunch. So, you know, I did a good. I uh, know, he's gonna go to Archon Town now. Cool. Let's check out Kaka Carrot. Oh, wow, it's got the stats and everything. Pog. All right, now we can go to Salento Pass. Pass this ledge is Archon Town. Okay, this whole time I had. Like, okay, so I I accidentally... Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, I deleted a bunch of files from my computer because my computer was getting filled up. And when I deleted them, I must have deleted my emulators. So I had to re-download my emulators. And now I don't have all my settings that I usually do. And holy crap, I did not have the correct audio setting on. So so this this thing sounded this thing sounded so bad. All right, I'm having save errors. I need to reset the game. Uh, <clears throat> okay, I think Naughty's good. <clears throat> I was just resetting for a good nature. I think Naughty works because physical up, spit F down um, or something like that. And it means I can run mixed and in front of the like big mixed attacker. Wow, of course that's the worst IVs known to man. What's even the point, man? Actually, I just got the one I wanted. Hopefully it's got better IVs. I doubt that this game really matters about natures and stuff, but you know, since the options there, I may as well take it. Cool. This one works. Now you've natured. Decent IVs. Let's go! All right, now that we can save, and now that my audio doesn't sound like shit, we can finally play Pokemon Gaia. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was just working out the kinks. I will show you though. This is what the audio sounded like before. Sheesh! What happens if I turn it down even more? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need to turn this into like a 2011 YouTube Let's Play. Damn, none of the, none of the filters work whenever uh, you play the emulator at native resolution, which is incredibly tiny. So I, I was going to show off some funny filters, but they won't let me. Very sad. Oh well. All right, we got Kakarot Ember. Now we're good. Now we can continue. This is Salanto Path. To the left is Archon Town. To the right is Salanto Town. Cool. Hey, bestie. Tremors caused by Rock Slide, so you need Rock Smash to pass. I mean, at least they explain it. Cool. Now we're over here. Got Rock Climb in this game too. Yeah. Yes, sir. All the terrible TMs making a return. All right. Everyone in town is obsessed with archaeology and the past. Why not look at the future? They're holding back progress. You're spitting, my man. A bars. Hello. Professor Redwood's house is right next to the Pokemon Center. Talk about a real prime real estate. That shit must be expensive on, on God, bro. You're a new trainer. Take this. Thank you. Ah, uh, that reminds me. I did, in fact, pick up a hidden item off camera. Well, not off camera. Bef before I had to reset my save file. And that hidden item was a potion. I'm going to come back and get it. Otherwise, it'll bother me. Thank you. Dude, one of these days, I'm going to soft reset for a good trainer ID. Like, I don't know why, but like the idea of having a good trainer ID just really appeals to me. Like, I shit you not, I'm pretty sure in one of my like Omega Ruby playthroughs, my trainer ID was like 00420 or, or like 4200. I know it had 420 in it and I like freaked out because I didn't notice it until I finished the game. Like it was kind of nuts. Anyways, Professor Redwood was geeking out the other day over this machine he got. He said it was uh, could revive fossils. Personally, I'd be skeptical about that kind of science. It's crazy. When does uh, it stop becoming science and start becoming magic? Hmm, interesting train of thought, my lady. Have you heard the rumors? Apparently there's a hidden grotto somewhere in this town. Oh, hidden grottos? Okay, I'm beat. I just spent all day training in Arch and Tunnel. And then uh, this is my pit stop, I suppose. All right, so this must be Professor. Hey. Professor Redu, Doc Kali, you made it. JD and I were discussing the gifts I have for you. Uh, like I said, it's Cilantro time. I need your help at the moment, though. Two of the um, two of you aren't prepared. So to get you started, I made you these. Your very own personal care packages. Awesome. We got a care package. That's awesome. And yours, JD. Um, go ahead. You should open them. Okay. We have to open our care package. That's actually awesome. Uh, the Orb Orbitus Pokedex. Okay. The Redwood card. Okay. A town map. Yo, this is this is tight. All right. Um, the official membership um, card it has all sorts of uses, probably. Interesting. Probably the set of gear, no? Orbitus Pokedex records data on the Pokemon you capture. Time map is a map of the Orb Orbitus region. Um, it's handy for navigation. Redwood card officially makes you a member of my research team. It's recognized in many circles, so it's very useful. Don't lose it. Oh, and I almost forgot these. We're going to lose our red card. 
a redwood card at some point, aren't we? Cool, we got Pokeballs and potions. Yeah, I was gonna say, why was that not in the care package? Uh, remember, you can stock up on more at the Pokemon. Um, have um, now have either of you felt the recent tremors? Um, they're worrying me. Um, as you know, the elders were wiped out by similar earthquakes. If the quakes are related, the whole region could be in danger. Um, I've therefore taken it upon myself to get to the bottom of them. So to get started, we should go check out Archon Tunnel, and that's where I'm headed. I hope to see the two of you there, dude. This is this game feels really official. I really like this game so far. So, Callie, I guess uh, we're working partners now. Why don't we extend this to a little rivalry so you can be the strongest trainer is? Maybe at the entrance of Archon Tunnel will fight there. Look forward to it. All right, you want to scrap. All right, now, does it have its own unique bo like box art? It does. I th wait, no, I think that might be from Diamond and Pearl. Either way. Oh, wait, no, this this one's got to be unique. This one's got to be unique. Okay, cool. You can usually judge if a ROM hack's good if they have their very own artwork. I'm, I'm joking, obviously. Cool. I'm going to use the Spiel one just for Lotad. Lotad's a big fan of Spiel, so this one's for you, bro. Cool. Well, little, little science machines in here and shit. Cool. I think in this game, I definitely have to use a fossil on my team. I feel like it would be illegal if I didn't. Like, if this game's all about archaeology and stuff, like, gotta use a fossil. And Cradilly's my favorite. Whoa! Oh my god, that Pokeball is very red. Holy crap. I, that caught me off guard. That is a very red Pokeball. All right. Chambers keep messing up my furniture. Other than that, I'm not bothered by them. I mean, that's a pretty big deal. I'd be pretty pissed off. Can't resist a good mystery. What's their theory on the tremors that are happening? Cool. So we've got mysterious earthquakes going on. Art in hills. The hills have eyes. Dude, the back sprite is so good. Dude, this game has polish to it that I just love and appreciate, man. Like, I can, I can already tell I'm going to love this series. I'm, I'm going to try and take it slow. We got to make this one last, guys. Oh! Lotad and Meryl live in the same place yet again. It was it was meant to be. And Pidgey, bro. And Pidgey. Three of them. Rash natured, thick fat. This is the worst Meryl I've seen ever. All right, what about you? You're bashful and you have thick fat. God, why are all the Meryls fat? All right, this one's definitely not thick fat. I did a little uh, little experiment and, um, you know, because it's got thick fat, it means fire type moves do less damage. And I just used Ember on, on a Meryl and I was like, okay, that thing's definitely thick fat. Mild nature, huge power. Awesome perfect almost perfect attack too i'll take it man i'll take it i don't know if i'm actually going to use meryl because of you know i've used meryl quite a lot in previous playthroughs at least personal playthroughs um but you know it's, i can't resist man meryl meryl is just a goat this image right here is lotad core this is lotad core oh <gasps> relicanth oh my god there's a lot of different folk tales about why elders built the ancient tablet i wonder if any of them are true this is the ancient tablet that was constructed many years ago it appears to portray a pokemon relicanth cool can i can i come behind here i cannot all right um well we got this cave to check out so i suppose we should do that how's it going what took you so long oh well it doesn't matter dude how do they know how long it took me do they have a fucking timer do they have a timer or do they just say that even if i run up there instantly yo jd has drip god damn yo i cannot get over how amazing the sprites in this game are look at this smack ham although this piplop sprite is not its best i, I they should have used this diamond and pearl one instead cool level five yeah we can we can fuck this up not even a challenge how did i lose i can't believe i lost oh well see you later all right cool and recording in this place is my favorite because i just love hearing sirens pass by it's so great such a great place to record videos all right let's check out this tunnel archon tunnel how's it going i lost my stinga he's my weedle <laughs> playing with the tunnel when a tremor struck when i woke up my stinga was missing no one is going here until i find him uh hey the redwood card you're another one of those professor aids uh that means you're a strong trainer right please help me find my stinga somewhere in there i just need to know it i just i just know it okay cool i'll help you find your weedle bro oh this game has fairy type too let's go no nope, this game is uh teeming with wild pokemon don't think i'm prepared you're pretty deep into the cave bro yo come down here to research the tremors oh there's another one okay the, the, the place is tremoring so far there's been a pretty decent variety of pokemon that we're seeing hopefully it stays that way i really like it when there's a lot of variety we got zubats wizmers woobats oh there's the weedle hey, don't worry about it bestie i'm here to save you you there excuse me my wouldn't you help me that trainer who saved this pokemon oh you are that's my son's weedle he's been traumatized ever since he lost it he told me he's trying to try to look for it didn't believe him but here you are i must give you something for your help take this please i i literally did nothing to be honest but sure i'll take it thank you that's not much but i hope you appreciate it just know you made my son very happy goodbye trainer oh cool. take his take his take his weedle bye bye at least i didn't have to do a fetch quest cool uh okay we made it through the tunnel ah you finally made it whoa it's just a completely different area this is saros village um part of the Arton tunnel had nothing of interest it seems as definitely increased uh seismic activity here though uh, my tool are never wrong uh maybe we're just not looking in the right places perhaps there's a second entrance to the tunnel um this is my hometown i could ask my parents about a uh, second entrance uh then it's settled we'll go to pokemon center and ask around there good luck you two okay so the professor's helping us and stuff uh, you check out the gym gym leader um fernando uses fairy types uh, he's the grandson of the daycare folks so you're around kelly that's pretty cool got some relations going on jd's house all right let's ask around you want to learn about such a young uh kid as the gym leader sure um fernando's grandpa the great daycare man 
used to be the gym leader around here. Normally, Fernando's dad would have replaced him, but he retired. But tragically, Fernando's parents uh, both passed away when he was young. His grandparents are letting, I think, letting him run the gym is a good outlet. Some kids grow up so fast. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know uh, any secret tunnels. There's some suspiciously thin trees nearby, though. Makes you want to just chop them down and see what the big deal is. Hi, Callie. From what I gathered, there's definitely a second entrance. Nobody seems to know where, though. Let's just keep searching. I'll spy on when I'm um, using rock climbing cell and find it. There's a lot of flowers, flowers around these parts. Um, when the wind in, is in the right direction, the whole village smells of perfume. This is why my favorite uh place in all of orb orbtis there's gonna be a hidden item here isn't there hidden item hidden item surely there's a hidden item here hidden item hidden item no hidden item wow rare bones i collect them you should bring any along you find i'll make it worth your while cool rare bones for money i'm the daycare man yeah you is all right what's going on over here so rawls li lives here spritzy dude i want to i low-key want to use <sighs> dude its evolution is so fucking ugly though spritzy is one of those pokemon that i've only ever used in free for alls poor guy so they give baby its very own patch of grass which is pretty neat but unfortunately we already used one of these in unbound so i'd, I'd feel kind of i don't know I, I like using unique pokemon every playthrough if i can help it so it would appear i need to get a gym badge and cut probably yeah hmm. that's a uh, second entrance that we need to go to first gym already very interesting hey there you need the gym right well fernando's the gym leader he uses fairy types poison type moves are, are great here cool all right what's going on in this gym don't be fooled by the trees we use fairy type pokemon here i mean fairies generally live in like live in like forests right so i mean that works Oh, they've got a custom sprite and everything. Pog. That was mystifying. Oh, uh, just like turn back cave. Okay. This gym confuses me, but I won't let that phase me. Roma girl Courtney. Connie. So weird seeing a gym be level seven. Right, I'm going to go up. Huh. I'm going to go right. Okay. It brings me back here. I'm going to go right again. Okay. It brings me here. Okay. I'm going to go up from here now. Which Okay. I'm going to go down from here. Huh. It's just like entering a cheat code. Oh, maybe I go down from here. Uh huh. Smart. Um, we came from the north. I, I guess I'll go left again. Uh, okay. It didn't help. South. Oh, oh, okay, I found him. Hog. Oh, cool, let's have it, bro. I have. Hello, my name is Fernando. I'm the gym leader of Sarah's Village. Um, I'm sort of new at this. Go easy on me, okay? All right, bring it on. All right, Fernando, what you got for me? Oh, he's just a kid, man. That's super awesome. Cool. Clefairy, let's go. Uh, level 11. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm a little under leveled, a little bit under leveled. Charming Cry. Is that disarming voice? Cool. Uh, okay, Meryl's not really packing as much of a punch as I wanted. So we tail whip and then we swap to Kakarot who resists fairy type moves. Uh, of course it has huge charm. Why wouldn't it have huge charm? Rock Smash? For real? Do you have, ro you have Rock Smash? Uh, I guess I like Ember. Oh, you want to use a potion that early? Holy crap. Ah, uh, wait. Okay, okay. This, okay, fairy types. Fairy types are tough. All right, here's the deal. I'm going to keep tackling. Uh, we got crit. Nice. Now I'm going to heal again. I feel cheap using potions, but like we're only on the first Pokemon, man. Never mind. It's over for these hoes. We have we have defense called rollout. On a real note, though. Oh, 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 I should have just rollout. Huh? Damn, they really got my ass. Bye bye. Never mind. Meryl lived and got some damage off. Pog. All right. Kakarot. This thing doesn't have the best defense. Just scratch, bro. Live this. Eat this. I know you want to. Ouchie. You took it, though. All right. I don't know what the last Pokemon is, but I hope we can take it on. It is a Jigglypuff. Huh? Um, I'm gonna taunt just in case I want to sing. That definitely seems like a Jigglypuff type beat. Spam sing. Hound. Ooh, that did a lot. Ooh. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll just Ember. Uh, okay. That was a crit Ember. That was a crit. Another crit. Okay, Pog. We're getting really lucky here. I'm gonna. Okay, cool. Okay. Run out of potions. Oh, yeah. I mean, I had to use a lot of potions in these battles. So that, I don't know. I think, I think I just didn't really have the levels on my side. That was kind of tough. A little, little tough, you know? I mean, I won for a try, but I had a lot of. I had a lot of potions. This doesn't count. I'm not giving you my badge. Please be trolling. Oh, wait. I forgot Chimchar evolves at level 14. Holy crap. Literally just went over my head. Completely forgot. Monkey! We love a bit of Monferno action. I don't want to give you my badge. You can't make me. Bro, there ain't no way. Like, excuse me. Sorry to bother you, but I need the trainer that just defeated Fernando. He's my grandson. He seems to be in quite the state he ran off to west forest but he has no pokemon with him would you be kindness and chase after him i couldn't bear to see him get harmed oh thank you west forest is to the west of the village just follow sarah's path you can't miss it thank you trainer yeah so making him the gym leader it was probably a bad idea huh all right we gotta go Seroth, Seroth, whatever sephiroth path west forest I wonder if we'll find any spooky bitches in here. Those unprepared, turn back now. Uh, Burmy. Okay, that's not what I was expecting from West Forest. Where's my ghosts? There's my ghosts. I want to shop it, though. Yo. Ooh, Phantom. Man, part of me really wants to use a fucking, uh, what's it called? Gorgeist again. It is lit, but okay, man. Gorgeist is awesome. I've seen Pumpkaboo. They've come in all sorts of... Yep, Pumpkaboo definitely lives here. Hey, why are you molding? It's okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Wait, what? Just take the Mystic Badge and let's go home. Quick, let's get out of here. 
Cool. Thank you for bringing Grunson back. We're worried about him, especially after he had no Pokemon. Anyways, I'd like to give you this as a token of my appreciation. Poggers! I want to thank you for knocking some sense into my grandson. He's a sensitive one. Uh, Grandma, I not like that anymore. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be like Callie. I'm going to be cool, silent trainer. Now I've got a gym to run. All right, cool. Made an impact. I also need to go back to work. Thanks again, Callie. Feel free to leave your Pokemon here if uh, they ever need a rest. Well, that's pretty epic, wouldn't you say? There's Bestie. Since Mega's evolution's in this game, I, I, I kind of low-key want to use this because, I mean, I always use them all while, so. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Mega, maybe Mega Banette's got to be, got to be the wow, it's fucking bold. God damn it, dude. Naughty nature? Perfect. I'll take it. Although the IVs, huh. <laughs> Alright, I think this is the one I'm gonna use. This view is beautiful. It's a shame about him. Bro, the view looks nice too. Bro, bro, what's going on here? Is there fat shaming in my Pokemon Gaia? You know, kind of feeling like using a Zip Striker. Never really used one before. You cannot rush Art. Once my masterpiece is done, Art Master Vincent will accept me. Okay, I'm not allowed to go past. You served the scene and ruined my painting. Alright, cool. Well, we got Bleezus, Kakarot, Cackle, and Crackle on my team. Pretty cool name. I need to go back and show that guy the uh, Shop It. Well, let me talk to this lady. Cool. Put my Marrow in a Premier Ball. You know, just put, put just just put all my Pokemon in a Premier Ball. Fuck me up, fam. My entire team got dripped now. Let's go. Annoying thing is I'm gonna have to keep coming back here and, and later and, and later on in the game. All right, well, it was this guy, right? It's so awesome. Here, take this dust. Oh, whoa, okay. What's Dusk Stone do? No idea. Probably not Evolve Shop It. I also came back here for this important guy. I can now use Cut outside of battle. Thank goodness. Give me that. Wow, there's a shit ton of Psyducks down here. Are you serious right now? Aside from Budge, how will I get to Ario City now? I don't know, man. Just surf. Just, just swim in the water, my man. You know, what? Wait, where the, where the hell am I? What? So I, I never checked at this part of the tunnel. Oh my God, Scraggy lives here. That's my bestie. Yeah, I was checking this extra area, and what the fuck is this? Okay, what? Why is this like a raid battle? I'm gonna just kill it. Okay. Uh, okay, what does this do? No, I, I'm so... What is going on? Was I meant to catch it? I don't know. The music is really unfitting too. Very interesting. All right, well... I believe this is as good of a time as any to wrap up. Uh, I just wanted to backtrack a little bit, you know, see what was what. Um, but yeah, uh, I had a really good time with this first episode, man. I hope you guys did too. If you did, drop a like. This is gonna be a new series on the channel, so um, keep the support coming, man. Let me let me know that you let me know that you like it and stuff by by leaving them likes. Uh, yeah, until next time, though. See you guys later. Bye bye.